Hey everyone, WandaBot here, and welcome to Runestone Keeper. It is a roguelike dungeon crawler. I don't know, it's a really unique roguelike from what I've seen. I did a little bit of the, well, I did the tutorial, which honestly barely scratches the surface. But it's uh, made by Blackfire Studios, which as far as I can tell, is actually a Chinese studio of all things. It's, uh, I mean, not to say anything against or for Chinese studios, it's mostly just I'm not used to playing roguelikes by them, much less indie games by them. I didn't know there was much of an indie game. Uh, industry over there, but you know apart from that. Let's take a look at what we can do So first and foremost, this is a character portrait apparently we're level one. We have 10 shield 10 attack. Here's our backpack It's got stuff. I uh, this is like basic equipment item, item slots. I don't know what these do or this uh, You can switch weapon slots, which I assume has some kind of uh, Effect on things it looks like accuracy is not tied to our current weapon. It's just damage pretty plain and we've got basic stats which Usually you can like right click to see what things do, but it does not look like that's the case here. Anyway, let's close the, close the inventory. So we've got a couple of things for us. So we've got an ability. Uh, what are we anyway? We have apparently their tattoo slots. We have attributes, mana levels, stuff like that. There's a lot of potential for depth here, and I really want to see where it all goes. But we have currently one ability. I think you can only get up to three. Not a big deal. And, uh, so this ability, Adventurer's Roar, reduces an on-screen monster's attack by one. One plus number of locked tiles. Uh, oh, by one plus n number of locked tiles. Monster minimum attack will be one. Lasts, lasts for three moves. So it does look like there's a little bit of, uh, translation errors here and there. But honestly, like, I, I can easily look past this. Now, this is very hearthstone -y. Originally, I thought this was going to be some kind of weird, bizarro... Hearthstone roguelike, but not at all. The music is pretty good. I mean, it's a little bit obtrusive just because it's kind of repetitive and a little bit loud, but honestly, whatever. Uh, the heavy use of drums can be distracting in some cases, but honestly, since this isn't an action game, it just seems apropos. Anyway, so we've got these four structures we can click on, three of which locked off to us. What's this one do? Okay, so this lets us switch between multiple characters. So apparently, we have to be level 10, 15, I assume 20, 20 and 20... Uh, five to get those but seeing as we can't switch let's go for the dungeon now first and foremost that I have to mention this game is really pretty what is this endless mode hello unlocked by completing normal mode featuring completely random monster combinations at each level max level cap upgraded 50 uh, more random distribution devices and traps absence of any bosses and events unlimited levels and steam global ranking what is this abyss mode unlocked by completing normal run Featuring collapsed dungeon floors, run, run for your life. Oh, collapsing dungeon floors. I see, so you're probably timed to some degree. Completely random monster combinations at each level. So almost the same, just even scarier and faster. Okay, well, we're not doing either of those. Can I click on any of this stuff? I kind of wish you could actually interact with these, but that said, who cares? But I really like the, like, dudes on the side with the, the swords. I love the character portrait. I love the user interface. It's very simple. Uh, this feels like it's probably going to end up on mobile. I wouldn't be surprised. It's got very simple controls, but currently I have no idea if it's on mobile or not. I probably should check that out, but uh, first I've heard of it, so I, I assume this is a unique entity. But I, I love the environment art. Like, there's a lot of detail into the to these just, like, this, that, and the other things. But enough about art. Got it. Got to get into the actual game, though I have to say the loading screen is gorgeous. So the entire gameplay, now that now that we get into it, uh, now that I'm done yammering about things, looks like uh, we have a number of levels before we hit the boss. That's cool. I didn't actually notice this meter when I was in the tutorial. Might or might not have been there. It does feel like the tutorial glossed over a lot of interesting stuff that it would be nice to know, but you know what? Whatever. Trial and error. Learning is fun. Okay. So the entire co core concept of the game is dungeon is unexplored or floor is unexplored. So. If you notice, we have one lit up tile. We can click on this one, lights it up. So if we right click on it, we can actually see what it does. A black, black device, or block device, I don't even know. Uh, fill in soul points to detect surrounding monsters and traps. So if I give this 10 soul points, which is this meter here, it'll light up the surrounding area. It's not super important, but uh, it is a useful thing to, to use. It's kind of tactical almost how you explore this dungeon. Because I guess it gets like... You can avoid traps and stuff? I don't even know. Uh, normally, soul points are used for, like, avoiding traps and stuff like that. I believe this is, like, my block meter? Actually, what is this? I don't know. I really wish you could right-click on everything, because they didn't... Uh, the tutorial truly did gloss over way too much. Okay, so we got a heart there. I'm going to leave it alone. Nothing. 
Nothing. Okay, Ballista. Shoot in one of the four directions, damaging any creature in its trail. Alright. Let's do it. Oh, here we go. That way. And there's nothing over here, so in that case... We can explore a little bit. So... It's nice that there are positive things as well along the way. Hello, vampire. It's new monster, never seen him before. It does 8 damage, 95% chance to hit, 7% chance to dodge, 12 HP. I do 10 damage, there will be 2 hits to kill it. It does 7 damage though, that is concerning. Anyway, uh, half of the monster's inflicted damage is absorbed into its life and it drops mana when killed. So, this costs 2 mana. Oh, this must be my mana meter. Alright, well... Let's use that on him, because I don't I don't want him to be healing. Okay. I have no idea if I get more mana or less. What is this? What is this little icon? I actually don't... Oh, buff. Roar. Okay, so we know about that one. Anyway, let's fight this guy. So shields looks to be our... Uh, is depletable? And every time it hits us, we lose shield. We lose, you know, an amount of shield. So it can hit us two more times before we're out. But I can take him out beforehand. And we get a treasure chest. We get wool gloves. Let's take all. Go into our inventory. Take a look at them. I... What's the difference? Plus three critical hit. And it's worth one coin. Alright. That works for me. What's this? Uh, freeze all monsters on... Oh! This is a nice... This is a usable item. So what this does is freeze all monsters on screen for three moves. So three turns effectively. Costs me 30 soul to use. But that's pretty solid. So I'm just going to keep looping up and down. Let's use this bad boy. Which doesn't seem to have done... do anything? Alright. Works for me. Earn extra rewards... oh, this is a tip. Extra rewards by killing all monsters. For the time being, I'm actually going to be going around and fighting all of the monsters that I can. This is kind of weird, the, the like, uh, clacky clack noise. So this is explosive... oh, scary pumpkin. Explosive curse. Explodes after three moves, causing double current attack damage. Drops mana when killed. So, looks like my shield has not recovered yet. Can I... Oh, it does look like I get some amount of mana back. So let's let's keep using this skill, make him super weak, and beat the tar out of him, just in case. Doesn't look like he actually attacks, though. Which is encouraging. Okay, make another monster take double of the damage taken on its behalf. Attack twice each turn. Oh boy, you look scary. It's got shield points too. So I'm just going to keep using and abusing this. For the time being, it doesn't look like there's a whole lot of reason. I don't think it actually attacked me back. But it doesn't seem like there's a whole lot of reason not to. And we get this thing. Trap Hunter. Stick to a revealed tile and reveal traps in this dungeon. So I guess I drag it down and it'll actually show me everything available on the floor. Okay. So, dodge blow. Every revealed tiles will reduce this monster's dodge chance by 1%. Okay. So, it has zero dodge. Dodge bump. Chance to dodge regular... Ch Alright. Uh, now, this guy does 8 damage. I've got zero armor left. So, I'm going to keep using this. Excessively so. Never mind. Note to self. Pay more attention to these enemy... This enemy health. Always strike first. So, in this case... Let's actually use the blister to take it out. That's good to know. You can actually hold on to the blister and use it to take out other enemies. Ow. Okay, so this is a trap. It does two points of life damage. It looks like we're getting experience here. Um, but so... Uh, as the tutorial explained, that I didn't actually mention, so... Traps will go straight through wherever. Traps will do whatever traps do. But uh, normal attacks will go straight through your shield. Whereas magic attacks will go straight through my life points. I haven't run into any magic yet. Oh, that was bomb did two, two damage to me. And we find the locked door. So, apparently I already had a key. Uh, but there's apparently a reward for killing all the monsters. So, for better or worse, we're going to fight everything here. Looks like I got three mana. Let's just shout at this guy and beat the tar out of him. Because he's doing damage to us and I'd prefer to avoid... Taken too much. Now, I was going to say, luckily we've managed to reveal a couple of traps here. Here we go. Silence heroes and prevent them from using their skills. Alright. Well, that's okay. Reward. So we can get 11 gold, equipment, or an item. Let's go with equipment. So we can get boots. 
Uh, reveal one extra. That's pretty useful. Why can't I? Oh, because I don't have the stats for this. This is interesting. So, apparently, there's quite a lot of reward, actually, for this. I like that. Well, let's start with the boots. No idea if that's actually a good idea or not, but still. Can I actually select more? Oh! No, this guy's a shop. I didn't even realize. Well, let's put on the boots anyway. Because the four extra dodge chance might be nice, and honestly, I don't know what I'm doing. Probably going to die here, and don't have a whole lot of regrets. So let's grab that heart. Gives me a little bit of health. And let's keep going. So what do these boots do? Hello, worship with runestones. Copper, 5%. Silver, 10%. Gold. Alright, so what if I do this? Okay. So I guess I can drink... Uh, not drink, I can drop a runestone into this thing and it will give give me a bonus? Okay, let's try that. So I think that just gets, gets me extra gold for the time being. For better or worse. Okay, let's grab this. Now it looks like the boots will randomly identify something for me. Throwing knife. Kill a ranged monster on the spot. Good to know. So, having these boots on, actually super viable. Now what are you? Explorer, doesn't look like there's too much to it. Unfortunately, I'm out of mana points, so I pretty much just have to fight this dude. Ah, but we get the key, so if I want to leave, I can leave. It does look lo like the the boots, though, might actually be a bit of a negative, because I, I am exploring the tiles along the way, and I'm exploring two tiles at a time, which isn't necessarily bad, but I could end up pissing off two monsters at once. Crystal-carrying monsters will restore your crystals. Alright, that's good to know. We get more throwing knives. Uh, so I only need one throwing knife, I think. Yeah, because we're taking a fair amount of... Well, I don't know if we've taken a fair amount or not. Anyway, make another monster take... Okay, so this is Void Spirit. It's got 10 health. Should be fine. Oh, no. Never mind. Ugh, it's painful looking. Okay. Let's see. Are you a ranged monster? I have no idea. Looks like no. Okay, so let's freeze him. And then beat him to death. Because I, I truly don't know exactly how much I need to be, like, careful here. But I would prefer to only take damage from enemies that are specifically weak looking. Belt, belt of Quest. Let's take it, go into our inventory, take a look at this. Oh, right. You, you left click it. Extra experience, extra luck. Okay. Seems like the main issue thus far with this game, that I can see, for certain, is translation issues. This game has some amount of translation issues here and there, and it's like not the end of the world. Hey, there we go. Extra crit. And light crossbow of search. Good to know. But yeah, it, it seems like translation errors are the main issue with this game thus far, which is actually super encouraging. Just because, I, I don't know. Uh, drop mana when killed, dodge one lethal attack, minimum life remains one. Okay. So I believe... Dodge is one. We're kind of injured here, though. Let's, uh, let's quaff a couple of these hearts. That's, okay, five apiece. That's good. Um, it, I mean, honestly, the concept is a little bit slow and a little bit boring. I could see this being really good on mobile. I kind of want to see how, like, deep it goes, because there's the whole tattoo and stuff business. It seems like this has a lot of macro depth as opposed to micro depth. Macro being, you know, overworld game outside of, you know, the actual core gameplay. The core gameplay pretty much just feels like a uh, um, scratch card lottery, but, you know, you're an adventurer instead, and the lottery is uh, monsters that are out to eat your brains and stuff. Okay, reward. Uh, item, no, let's go with plus seven HP. We're not doing so well. On the HP side of things, and we find the door. We also get a crossbow. Now, we've almost leveled up yet. Uh, almost at this point. But not quite. And unfortunately, we've got 18 hit points. Not much armor left. Uh, so chances are we're going to get totally murdered. I'm really curious what happens when we... Hello, what is this? Oh, 10 life and 1 mana. Cost 20 soul. Alright, let's do it. Ooh. Uh, what's this? Hello. What would I like to trade? So we can get... Helmet of Fear. All monsters on... Okay, so these are items. Evade death. Nope. And nope. Okay, so let's not actually trade with this guy. So this guy will trade for these things. Oh, never mind. The, these are use items. Here. 
I didn't actually know items were single use. Interesting. Well, I'm not uh, particularly interested in messing around with that. Let's see what else we get. Stick to a revealed tile and unlock its surrounding 3x3 mistiles. Okay. So in that case, let's use on this one. Interesting. That didn't actually reveal them properly. Oh boy, you look actually kind of scary. As in, this guy's going to take a lot of hits to take out. And apparently we, we go up to full health for leveling up. Okay, that is actually really encouraging. So we could go with strength, melee damage, dexterity increases our range damage, intelligence, magic damage, and heart of life effect plus one. So stamina would increase these little hearts healing effect. Well, let's go with melee damage for the time being. The faster we kill things, the better. This guy's just going to be two hits to take down. Okay, so we're not actually in a bad way right now. What are you? Brush of Death? Okay, oh shoot. This is the guy that avoids one fatal hit. That's a problem. Well, we need the healing anyway. So, going with the stamina might or might not actually be a bad idea here. You are... I really wish I knew what ranged enemies were like. Versus not. Okay, and more tips. Yes? Doesn't seem to do anything. Okay. Now what we need is healing. These boots are actually causing us problems. We're taking all sorts of damage as a result. And we're gonna die as a result. And we're dead. Okay, so. Floor 3, level 2, monsters killed, new high score. Uh, let's try again. Now let's see what happens. Does it... Oh, whoa, this is... Okay, so a couple of things to note. First and foremost, we've lost our level. We've lost all of our equipment. But we didn't lose our gold, I think. So what we can do is we can spend gold... Oh, hey, apparently this is early access, I guess. So what we can do is, if I save up enough gold and I'm going to do this uh, the second time around, we can actually unlock these two, which I have no idea what that does. But it looks like, to some degree, you actually need to... It, it, it is actually a true roguelike. So there's actually less macro than I thought, and it almost becomes... I'm not going to say tactical, but it becomes very important to make it through this dungeon. I'm going to get murdered by a goddamn ghost right off the bat. It becomes imperative to make it through the dungeon without dying completely. Or, you know, Rogue Legacy style it, where you are trying to make it away with as much gold as possible. Let's grab the heart and beat the tar out of that thing. Sacrifice... Oh, that's interesting. I need a lot more soul points than that, but that is actually kind of neat in a way. Okay, so you're sort of scary. We're obviously dying really fast. Uh, the faster you seem to go through this game, the more you get your ass kicked, which honestly makes a lot of sense. Oh, interesting. Your life limit increases when you pick up health globes at maximum life. So those those uh, big old hearts that we keep picking up, the, that would actually be more beneficial for us to pick them up at full health. So, if I can avoid... Oh, there we're dead. I, if I can avoid death... Oh, interesting. So, I had 42 gold. Do I keep the pure 42 gold? Okay. So, it, it really does actually look like the only macro is Rogue Legacy style, where you get to keep your gold. The, though, admittedly, you don't actually have to spend it outside of combat. So, unfortunately, we need to make it up to level 10 before I can unlock a new character. Which is kind of unfortunate. I was really expecting that this game would feature more of a, uh, of a, like, you level up passively during the dungeon, you die, you start over. What does this thing do? Life and luck. Alright, works for me. Uh, but instead it is, it is pure roguelike. You know, your character dies, your character is just downright dead. It seems like there's a fair amount of, like, strategy to this, but it's hard to tell. Because here's the problem. So, let's plunk this down right here, just to show. I just put that down at the cost of soul, but it doesn't actually reveal any of these properly. It's just like, alright. Rattlesnake club, club. Okay, that's actually the first weapon we've gotten in a while. So, 4 damage, 3 damage. So, this is interesting. Let's, let's actually put this in... 
so we now we have two weapons. So here's the thing. The Rattlesnake Club does slightly less damage, but it does three damage to the monster on first reveal, which is actually super positive, comparatively. So what I'm going to try and do is get up to full health. Here we go. So I did a little bit of damage to it. Now let's switch. And so that club's going to be our exploratory weapon for the time being. What is this? Uh... Okay. So, apparently that was my tombstone from the previous run. Or something. Hard to say. Interesting question. Okay, let's switch weapons. Beat the tart of this thing. Must have gotten a crit. So we're actually doing very well here. It looks like our health is a little bit higher, too. Well, here's the question. Gotta test this out. So we're up to 36. 41. 46. 51. Oh! Okay, that makes a huge difference now. Because now we got a 56 math health. Math health. Max health, which is amazing. Now let's take the hood. I assume it's no different from the hood we've already got on. Oh, wait, no. We've got the hood of search on versus the regular hood. So hood of, hood of search is actually working out pretty well for us. Okay, heal others, other monsters by the amount of its attack. So this guy is a healer. That's eh, not that big of a deal. I'm glad we have this club. If only our accuracy was actually as good as the... Okay, we've killed all the monsters. Let's go for health for the time being. I want to see if I can get as far as I can. Our maximum health is 56. Dang, I was really hoping I could get a little bit more. Now I'm risking it here, just in case we find a trap, but instead we get souls. Okay, and we get a treasure chest, which is a short bow which we can't use. I'm running into that a lot. Now, here's the question. Can I do wield hatchets? Doesn't look like it. Okay. That's a shame. Now, I could go for range... Ooh. That's not a bad idea, actually. Next next time we level up, put one into dexterity, use the short bow. Instead of just using our regular weapons. Because ignoring monster armor could actually be really advantageous for us. I like that. I like this because it's a very non-traditional roguelike, as far as I'm concerned. Let's reduce this guy's armor. And beat the tar out of him, presumably. Switch back to the club, actually. I'm kind of forgetting to do that. So, I don't know if it's, like, a good idea or not, but I'm usually... Uh, yes. That's actually a good idea. I usually tend to, uh... I, I usually try and explore with the club. Of course, I forget almost immediately as I'm saying this. Hello, what is this? Sharpen your weapon to guarantee a fatal hit. Oh, that's actually kind of useful. Okay. Uh, choose your attributes wisely as some equipment and skills have pro prerequisites. Makes sense. But I, I, I'm noticing I go in kind of a linear path here in case we actually come to think of it. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Okay, there's a something there that we don't like. And won't like. Okay, so suddenly, suddenly the exploratory, the totems here. Makes sense. Okay, so let's stick that here. And now we know the, the traps to avoid. Okay, so there's a club. So he's going to do one damage to us, but that's not the end of the world. We get some wool, wool gloves, which we had on the previous run. Okay, this makes a lot of more sense. You know, if I can avoid the damage... Oh, shoot. I could have actually... Oh, he has a lot of damage. We have a lot of damage, too. I need to remember to explore with that club. But, uh... Now that I know what I'm doing, this is a lot easier than I thought it would be. Now, I'm gonna try and clear most dungeons completely for their monsters. I think I'm able to do that. Here we go. Uh, let's see. You do a lot of damage. Are you ranged? I really wish I could tell. Anyway, it doesn't look like it. So let's use this and then kill it. Okay. So a little bit of soul for a lot of survival. Now what does this do? Block, resist. Sounds good. So now that I'm getting into this, this actually seems way more interesting than I originally gave gave it credit for, and I'm, I'm really appreciating it thus far. So we could go with mana, not... I assume this is mana. Let's go with equipment. And I'm gonna level up, I'm gonna put it into dexterity. We might as well go for that bow, seeing as we have nothing better. Okay, so we have... A, I assume the ringmail coat of Chris... Crystal gives us, like, a huge amount of defense. We already have a... 
Club of Deprivation. And, like, 11 Strength, 9 Strength, 3 Intelligence. Wow, some of these are really heavy. Alright, so let's go with the Ringman... Oh, nope, can't go with that anyway. We are super bogged down. Alright, so let's sell the stuff that we already have. I'd swear I'd be able to use this at this point. Maybe not, I don't even know. Well, there's no way I'm going to be able to afford that, so let's close off, check our inventory. We should have decks of four, so in that case, let's switch, equip the bow, and quit. So now now we've got a, like a, a tanky combo and a non-tanky combo. We've taken no damage whatsoever. This makes a lot more sense, and I like this. Uh, this game succeeds very well at being quite possibly one of the most unique roguelikes I have ever messed around with, and I really appreciate that, actually. If you worship them, some statues, something, something. I wasn't exactly paying attention. Probably should. Ah, uh, but I... Okay, remember... Nope, that's not useful. That is useful, but I don't have the money. Part of the thing is I need to save the cash, given the situation. Okay, we actually want to get that heart. Max out our health. That is... Seriously, the fact that uh, picking up life crystals when at full health increases your overall health. Really appreciating that right now. Okay, you... Yeah, I got plenty of soul. So we know where a monster and a trap is. I'm going to leave the monster alone for a bit. Hello, speaking of. So you don't have any armor. So in that case, let's... Eh, I got plenty of mana. Beat him to death. Now, unfortunately, stun to him. Take a look at this business. Okay, so this does seven extra damage. Minus 15% chance to hit. Chance to stun, 8 luck. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Now we've got a bow, we've got a, a two-handed sword. We do 13 damage per strike. Okay. So we should actually be able to one-shot most of these guys. However, not this one. How much damage am I going to do with this bow? Is it better or is it worse? It's just enough. Assuming we don't miss. Okay, that actually hurt a little bit. Switch back. So it does look like, um... It, it does look like... In a lot of situations, it's actually better to go pure, you know, melee, pure ranged. One or the other. So in this case... Oh, there goes our, our armor. We've also taken a fair amount of damage there. Oh, but we got this. So what are you? So you're just the basic padded armor... Whoa, buying that, like, chainmail. If you could save up for that chainmail, you'd be in a really good position. Uh, for pretty much just, like, a complete clear the whole dungeon run. What is this business? You've not worshipped any gods. Okay. So, I, apparently I need to go find a god to worship somewhere along the way. What is this business? Stun a monster for three moves. Oh, tempting. Okay, so now we got this. I'll pick that up if I need to. We got you. Switch back to the greatsword. Beat him to death. Reward. Uh, let's go with 15 health. I like the equipment, but as it stands, taking too many hits. Really wish I had better trap finding, but still. Okay, let's spend some soul. So now we get to skip this. Okay, Goddess of Magic. Element damage plus three. Suffer three more physical damage. So effectively, we'll do th three more elemental damage, but take... No. So we're not even touching that business. Okay, let's try and avoid the trap. Well, we avoided one of the traps. Damn it. I'm going to have to take it. Just to get this. Oh. Oh, we've already fought all the monsters. Damn it. All right. Well, whatever. Let's just grab this. Now, it doesn't look too bad. Let's go down a floor. We do heal a little bit between, between uh, descents. So that's actually really good. Okay. Let's stun this guy. And beat the tar out of him. We get leather gloves and an opal. Let's take a look at these. So opal. Uh, is intelligence based. And these. Better than what I've got on. Okay, so if I can find a shop at this point, it might be worth selling. Just because I am getting my ass handed to me by pretty much everything. At least I, I assume that that monster is going... Well, that kind of monster is just going to murder me. Hello. You are... Okay, so that's a ranged monster. Glad I had that dagger all of a sudden. I was wondering about that. Hello, what are you? Okay, can I sell these things? Yes, I can. Okay, so it looks like I can sell all of my extra junk. 
that I don't need for at least some amount of money. So that when I leave, when I inevitably die here, I'll actually be able to unlock those two structures. That's good. That's ex that's exactly what I wanted to do as a result of this run, series, whatever you want to call it. Okay, so let's take a look at this. Now, it looks like those these rune stones are also based on... Uh, they, they are also, you know, macro. Specifically, can only... Okay, assuming we actually hit it, there we go. Ooh, we're looking a little bit worse for the wear. Uh, we can we can only find well no they carry over between runs that's what I'm trying to say. For, unfortunately, trying to do explanations and also think about this semi semi tactical matter. Oh, case of emergency, sell junk for gold. Yep, already already doing that. So we get this. Uh, let's reveal that. Doesn't look like we've got any traps. Or not. Looks like I stunned it. Good. I missed, but I stunned it. Not entirely sure how or why, but still. Now, we still got this, which petrifies it. So if I can find a monster to petrify, that might not be a bad idea. Yep, you look like a good one. So he's actually... Ah, deuces. What are you? I don't know, but it worked. Okay, and then we switch over to the bow, which does enough damage to kill that thing instantly. Okay, good. If I can level up, we get our health back. Take all? Hey, I can actually go back to the shop. Let's switch back to our weapon for the time being. Ow. I'm getting hammered a little bit here. Not enough soul points. Okay. Well, it looks like the last monster is... There are no more monsters, in fact. Alright. Well, that was silly of me. Oh, man. How many... I gotta... I only have to kill, like, two or three more monsters, which is kind of brutal. Oh, well. Not the end of the world. Ooh! The the background changed. It's uh toxic ooze and stuff like that. That's freaky looking. Uh oh, that's not good. Okay, worship rune worship with rune stones, copper resistance, cool. No, cleanse your body of any erosion effect. Okay, and now I'm this. What's debuff? Okay, so erosion damage taken plus two. And unable to use... Okay. Well, we're in a bad way. So it looks like the erosion thing... Oh, I see. Well, this sucks more than a little. Okay. Okay. So I'm just going to use that thing. That did not do nearly as much healing as I wanted it to. That erosion effect is going to murder us more than anything else. Isn't it? And we're poisoned now. And eroding. And this is going to do us no good. Can't use that again. Okay. Well, let's grab this. Uh, like, at this point, we were kind of panicking just because we're getting our ass kicked. Well, let's reduce his damage. And... Three shots... Three attacks. Doesn't matter. Well, we've managed to live. That was very close. Full leather armor. Let's take a look at that. That is probably way better than what we've got on. Uh, just barely. Anyway, if I can find a shop, that would be a good situation to be in. Oh, Yeah, we're full health too. We are... That was closer than I'd like, like it to be, but whatever. Holy shit, he's still doing like 14 damage to me because I've got crazy amounts of erosion. I cannot deal with that. Oh, it's this guy. Assuming I can hit him. Looks like his damage is still... He's... Oh, man. Even though I've reduced his damage heavily, there's nothing I... Oh, God. Yeah, wow. I was doing great. Let's see if I can... Can I sell this? Yes, I can. Okay, so in this case, I truly am about to die now. So let's actually just take off everything. Because, you know what? We're not making through this run. There's there's no dramatic revi... You know, there, there's no dramatic turnaround that we're going to be able to pull off here. Not with uh, the next hit. The next hit will just quite literally kill us. So, let's make as much money as possible. And heal, like, five. Yeah. There comes the acid. Betrayal of gods will be punished severely. Good to know. Hey, it's a map. What's this do? 
Let's do it. So we found about we found where the exit is. Unfortunately, what is our corruption right now? Or our erosion? Damage taken plus two. So we take 16 extra damage per hit. So you know that one guy hello. All on-screen monsters attack and life will double when killed. Oh boy. Well, let's see if I can stun this thing for three turns. I don't do damage to this. Oh right, because I sold my weapon. Alright, we are dead. Honestly, would not have mattered though. Even if I had kept my sword. But, new high score, we get 30 extra coins. So, let's take a look at what these extra structures are. Unfortunately, we still don't get her. So we've got Guy, the main character. Adventure is the nickname given by the tavern guys. Nobody ever knows where he comes from. And he, even he can't really tell his past. As if his early life was cut out from his memories. Passive, restore life by the number of killed monsters when entering the next dungeon. Okay, that makes sense. First and foremost, let's open this stuff up. What are you? Hello. So these look to be... Th okay, so these are the macro upgrades that we're looking for. So extra experience. Uh, extra health from... Uh, it's only a chance, though, for extra health from the Heart of Life. Okay, let's take a look at what this, this is. Yes. What do you do? Oh, okay, so you can just buy stuff early on if you really want to, and that's not, a not available yet. So, why don't we go with this for the time being? Uh, because the more experience we get per monster, the better off we're going to be. Okay, so there is actually macro pro progression, like I thought, more than I, uh, more than I originally expected. Currently, it's super basic. Looks like this game is a lot more early access than I gave it credit for, or at least assumed. But you know what? That's not a bad thing either. So what you can do is, you know, increase the amount of experience you get per monster, health from healing, prices for shops, and then the rest of these. Hell, if I know. So. Uh, that means some amount of grinding is order in order. I'm probably just gonna go straight for Hagler for the time being. Hagler, well, I mean, just flop back and forth between these two. Bargainer is not a high priority of mine right now, because I'm not interested. Well, I guess I am interested in getting farther, because that's probably where the better rewards are. But still, uh, for the time being, rather rather get Hagler up above all else, because that's probably going to be the main thing that saves us. The more experience we get, the more random full heals we get. Anyway... I think with that, uh, f overall first impressions, very good. It's very non-traditional, and I'm going to want to play a lot more of this. I might do some amount of... Well, I'm definitely going to probably do some amount of off-screen grinding, purely because it does seem like you're going to have to get through this a lot just to get any level of these upgrades. And I'd love to up unlock, you know, both of these two heroes. I do wish that they had different unlock requirements instead of, you know, level 10 and 15, just because that's so, you know, bland. But whatever, that's, that's pretty basic. And it's a very obvious goal to go for, whereas, like, trying to find them in the dungeon, purely based on RNG, that's kind of scary. But, overall, I like the tactical element of it. There's a lot more than I think I need to learn to kind of safeguard myself, like, uh, use properly using torches and stuff like that. Because as it stands, I feel like I'm squandering it 9 times out of 10. Anyway, visuals are great, the music is good, uh, very unobtrusive. I mentioned it at the beginning, it, and then totally forgot that there was even music going on. So that's a good sign, actually. Um, apart from that, the skill system is interesting. I'd love to see what the rest of the skills are like, but then again, I probably have to get higher level. The stat system is basic, but, like, you click on this, and suddenly it's just like, alright, there's actually more to this than I thought. Um, and overall, I, I appreciate how this game works. I really want to know what happens once you actually get up to the boss, and I'm, I'm re really curious about, you know, what happen what's going to happen with uh, this game as it develops. So, overall, it's worth, uh, I would say it's probably worth picking up mobile, actually. I think this game would be a blast on mobile. I have no idea if it's out yet. Uh, but if, if it isn't, I would say, like, if you ever see it being released on mobile, pick it up then. As far as PC goes, it might be a little bit slow for most people, just because, uh, I mean, it's not, it's not Rogue Legacy, it's not Vagante, it's not, it's not a fast-paced roguelike. That said, it's a very simple roguelike uh, in terms of, like, basic gameplay, so it might not actually be a bad idea. But, currently, $10 on Steam. There's no, uh, you know, just release sale, so if you're looking to get a deal, you're probably gonna have to wait. I doubt it's gonna get humbled anytime soon, or any other kind of bundled. Could be wrong about that, actually. I wouldn't be surprised if it ended up getting picked up somewhere along the way. Uh, but as it stands, I'd probably say it's worth it more on the $5.00. Mark for most people, I don't know if it has enough depth to truly capture people for the full $10 mark. And I know that sounds completely ridiculous uh, to say just because I'm probably going to put more, you know, time into this game than I ever did, uh, well, than I ever will with, like, 
practically any of the other AAA games I put in. But at the same time, I, I think for most of you, the $5 price point might be a little bit more sensible. Up until the, the, they add more to this game. Once this game goes to full, you know, like its full version, then I could probably say the $10, $10 mark might not be a bad idea. Really depending on what they end up adding to it. Currently it feels kind of sproggy woodish in terms of like overall depth and, uh, you know, long lasting appeal. Either way though, I'm actually pretty impressed and I'm actually going to keep playing it. Uh, a fair while longer, so uh, keep an eye out for that. And you know, you know, God, I love I love the pixel art on this game. It's very well done. That's a really good sign. Anyway, so this has been Wanderbot trying out Runestone Keeper, and generally quite impressed with it. So if you liked this impressions video in any way, shape, or form, please leave me a like. It helps more than you know, and lets me know that you want to see more of this game. If you have any questions, or if you uh, figured something out that I don't know, like how to freaking detect traps better, because really did lose a lot of health to that uh then you know give me a heads up down in the comments and i'll uh see what i can do and if you want to see more runestone keeper roguelikes or other games uh, a lot of indies not so much on the AAA, but whatever uh hit subscribe because man i do a lot of these things so uh with that rigorous wall out of the way i will see you guys on the next episode of runestone keeper because i'm going to keep playing this and if you guys are going if you guys show up to my streams um, give me a heads up and I'll, uh, cycle it into the, into the queue a little bit sooner. Because I actually would enjoy playing this. I'm just not sure how interested everybody else is. Either way, though, like I was saying, see you guys in the next episode. And as always, thanks for watching.